boys and girls and welcome back to another weekly video it is JD here and I'm so excited to see you guys all right so our question of the month is the same question as last week and it is who does Jesus love and do you guys remember the answer to that question who does Jesus love Jesus loves everyone yes Jesus loves you me your mom your dad your sister your brother your friend he loves the homeless men and the homeless women he loves everyone good job all right so for today I'm gonna show you some pictures and when I show you some pictures I want you to tell me what is something that you can do at these places to love like Jesus okay and so first I'm gonna show you this one it's a kid at the park right so what do you think you can do to love like Jesus at the park you can let someone go down the swing first you can help pick up trash anything else what can you do cool all right so let's look, look at another picture you ready is somebody in their room sitting on their bed. What can you do in your room? You can pick up their toys off the floor. You can pick up your clothes and your shoes and clean your room. Um, you can pray and talk to God. These are all things you can do in your room and to love like Jesus. How about this one? Looks like they're eating cookies in the kitchen. What can you do to love like Jesus when you're in your kitchen? You can help your mom and dad do the dishes. You can share your food with your brother or your sister. These are things that you can do to love like Jesus. Okay. All right, last one the drive through at a food place like Burger King or Chick-fil-A. What do you think you can do at the drive through to love like Jesus? You can say thank you when somebody gives you your food. Um, anything else? What else can you do? You can say something nice about the person. Good job, guys. So no matter where we are in the world, whether we go to church, whether we're at home, whether we go to the store, go to the park, there are so many ways that we can love like Jesus. Think, I want you to think about things that you can do wherever you go. I want you to think about things that you can do that we can love like Jesus. How can you care for others? How can you love others? What can you do that's nice for them? All right, guys, it is so awesome to have you guys here, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Hey. I can't contain it. I have the best news. I have a best friend. He can be yours, too. I want to sing it. I want to dance now, because I believe it.
chocolate cupcakes with chocolate frosting. Mm. Yummy. And today at school, I saw one of my friends wearing a super cool jacket. I told her I loved it and then I invited her to the party. So I got some special streamers to match her jacket. Zoe? Ooh, ooh. Doing things for your friends, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Helping others shows love. It's true. There are more ways to show love, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ooh, ooh. Follow me through. Follow me through, too. I'm Luis the Handyman. There. Now it should work. My Aunt Sheila is coming home from the hospital after she broke her hip. And I thought she could use one of these reach or grabber things. <laughs> See? You drop something. And you don't need to bend down to get it. The reach or grabber will get it for you. Ta da! <laughs> I think this will really help her. And it reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <gasps> Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. All month long, we've been talking about how Jesus loves everyone and that if he had a party, everyone would be invited. Grown-ups. Children. Everyone can celebrate that Jesus loves them because Jesus loves everyone. And Jesus wants us to love everyone too. In fact, he said, do everything in love. 
Can you say that with me? Ready? Do everything in love. Oh, wow. Everything? Let's think about that. Let's say you're at the grocery store and the checkout worker seems like he had a sad day. You're done with your groceries and you are just about to leave. What could you do to show love? Try this. Can you smile and wave? Bye, sir. Thank you. Have a great day. Look, he's smiling and waving back. You showed him love by being kind. Great job. Okay, let's try this one. Your brother runs into the kitchen and really wants a cookie, but you have the last one. He's upset that he did not get a cookie. What could you do to show love? Try this. Do you want some? You did it! Sharing the cookie made your brother feel loved. Great job! Okay, what about this one? You and your friend are playing in the sandbox at the park. You are having so much fun together. But you look over and... There's a kid who's all alone by the slide. They don't have a friend to play with. What could you do to show love? Yell it out! Yes! You could ask them to play! Hey! Do you want to play with us? See? You are great at doing everything in love. Whether you're on the playground, or at a dance class, or at school, or at home with your family. You can do what Jesus said and do everything in love. So, let's celebrate because Jesus loves everyone! Woo! <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves everyone? Jesus loves everyone. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus loves everyone. And we can, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Jesus said to do everything in love, and I know we can. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I can't wait for the party. I'll see you next time. Bye! Everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14.